I'm going to glaze this painting to unify all the colours. I'm going to use a little bit of glaze medium uh, and pigment to just gel these colours together. So I've got my palette here and my glaze medium. Now a really good tip is to pour enough glaze medium out to cover the whole of the canvas. So instead of mixing up pigment, I'm pouring glaze medium. Tiny, tiny bit of pigment mix that through the glaze medium, so I'm making a very, very translucent film of colour. I don't want any marbling, I want that a unified tint over the top of the painting. I can always add more glaze if the colour is too deep. When I've decided I've made enough, then I can start painting. So you see as I'm painting this, I'm just giving the painting a tint and unifying all the colours that are already opaque and painted onto the canvas. This technique is very subtle. Should I want to make that tint more intense, then I would add a bit more pigment to the glaze medium and do another coat of glaze. The beauty of glaze medium and not water is it's very viscous, it clings to the canvas and it doesn't drip, which is useful when you're working at an easel. And that only slightly affects the tint um, of the, the leg here. That tint just gives it that little bit of a cooler shade, so it slightly tones down the warmer colours, a blue glaze. So you can use glaze medium at the end of a painting, or you could use it during a painting just to alter an area or slightly edit an already opaque colour. It's a very delicate and very subtle way of editing a painting.